Hey what's up it's Julie, I'm a lawyer and a former top law student and today I'm going to be telling you what it was like to have a baby at law school. So I chose to get pregnant in my third year of law school, I explained why in a different video. I had yeah the entire third year being pregnant and then uh, when I was 39 weeks pregnant which is near the very end I had my final exam of the year which was criminal law. The next week I went into labor and gave birth and then I had the four month break over summer to raise the newborn. So the next year I had one semester to finish and I went back with a four month old baby. So it sounds kind of crazy but it was all my grand plan and it ended up working out pretty well. I'd say really well actually. So in terms of having a baby at law school I found it quite okay like I was definitely very sleep deprived and sometimes in class I did find it hard to stay awake um, and I told some of my lecturers after like I'm sorry I loved the class it's just I'm like very sleep deprived and one of my lecturers also had a four month old baby just randomly and was like oh yeah I know what you're going through so that was funny but um yeah it was hard to stay awake and like I felt like I had a lot more um you know like pressure on me in terms of being so sleep deprived being so like physically exhausted and still having to think but in another sense it was really good to have that mental stimulation and to still have some of my own life going on despite you know such a dramatic change of having a baby I'd say another pro to having a baby during law school was that you know it's not full-time work so I could still pretty much be a full-time mum and my parents would um, really kindly just watch my son for the lectures and also for when I needed a little bit of time to study um, and my husband would also help with that so I mean yeah I was able to pretty much still be full-time except like maybe eight hours a week so that was really cool because when you're working full-time you obviously don't get to see your baby for like 35 to 40 hours a week so that's quite a big difference um, and I would say having something else on like a baby which is so full time allowed me to just be like okay um, my dad is watching him for two hours this morning I've only got two hours to study I have to do it now and that's that so it gave me quite a good like anti-procrastination tactic because you know normally if you're just a student and I have like eight hours of the day to study let's say um, I might just do end up doing two hours in total anyway because you just procrastinate so I found I wasn't too strapped for time I still had quite a bit of time if I just utilized it well also little babies sleep quite a lot so now my son is two and he's like quite active he's sleeping now they have like one one hour and a half nap but you know they don't they need a lot of attention they'll be like mom what are you doing I want to use your computer they're very involved whereas a little with a little baby when he was small and I was at law school I could put him in the pram at like 7 a.m. go for a walk to the cafe and he'd probably just chill there for like an hour and I could get some study done so it was actually like manageable with a small baby I would say it would be a lot more challenging with a toddler in a lot of ways because unless you have them in daycare they're just really like full on so they'll be all over you another pro is that you're super motivated because you've got something or someone to study for you know when you've got that little one you just love so much and you realize you're doing everything for them as well and that if you get this degree it's so good for your career and it'll help them have a better life as well so I found that super motivating and it helped me get through my final semester and in the end I, my grades were still really good even though I had a baby and I felt really proud of that I would say though if I didn't have a whole bunch of support um, from my parents and from my husband like yeah that would be that would be pretty tricky so overall would I recommend having a baby at law school like yes actually I would because I still think it's easier to study and have a baby than to work full-time and have a baby and I'm 35 weeks pregnant now with my next with my second child and I can say that working full time while pregnant was super tough because you know you've just got those long days and you're super tired so also I'd say being pregnant in law school is a lot better because you can do three four hours a day and call it a day and then have a nap so it's a lot more flexible than working full time 
So there are definitely massive pros to doing it during your studies. Okay, obviously afterwards, like it's tricky trying to get your first job and like navigating a baby. I ended up um, getting really amazing opportunities still and having a really good, amazing jobs. But it was quite difficult for me to balance being a mum and also being a new grad lawyer. I found that quite tricky. And I'm not sure if it's so much easier when you've got three, four years of experience as a lawyer. Um, maybe it is because you're not learning so much. I, so I can say that would be one of the cons is that, yeah, when you're looking at finding work, you can't dive in as much as you would otherwise because you have something else that you would like to give your time to. But in terms of job opportunities, I found that I wasn't hindered and my companies that I worked for were really flexible with my child and part-time hours and all that. So that was fine. I would just say that something to think about is it's quite hard to be a grad lawyer. It's quite hard to be a parent at the same time. Um, I still wouldn't change anything because I still think the way I did it is good. But yeah, that's just something to think about. Thanks for watching my video. Like if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to support me and keep seeing more law content. All right, have a good day. Bye.